Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create a simple animation in Procreate. So let's open a new file and go through the brushes that we will use in this animation. We will just use two to three brushes for this animation. These are Procreate's default brushes. The first one is Monoline brush and you can find it in calligraphy section. And the second one is script which you can also find in cal calligraphy as well. And the third one is the noise brush and we will use this brush to add shadows and highlights in our object. So first of all we will create a path for an animation. So select a layer and create a new line and then draw a perpendicular line to the previous one like this. So this is the path for our animation. So let's go to the animation window. So first we have to go into settings, then canvas and then toggle on animation assist. So here we get a little box in which we can add frames to our animation. We can delete the frames directly from here as well. So basically each layer is a new frame, so whenever you add a new layer to your artwork, it works as a new frame. And here are some of the settings that really helps in doing the animation. Just let's go through this quickly. This is how you can set the number of frames that will, dis that will be displayed per second. The next setting is the number of onion skin frames. Now what this does is when you create something in one frame and then add a new frame, it will lower the opacity of the previous frame. So that you can get the idea of the object in your previous frame. Setting this to 2 is enough to create a simple animation. In the next setting, you can adjust the opacity of the onion skin frames. Play around these settings and find a number that you are comfortable with. What we are going to animate today is a little ball, as if it is dropping from the top and takes one or two bounces. This is the layer but which we have to keep constant, so we know the path of the animation. So what I am going to do is lower the opacity of this layer and then set this layer as the background. Now whenever you add a new frame, the first layer, the background layer will not disappear. Now let's select the monoline brush, select a color and then create a simple sphere. I'm just gonna add some shadows and highlight here and we will not go into detailing right now. Now we will just click on the layer and duplicate it and change the position of the sphere. And then repeat the same. You can see that I am trying to keep the distance between each sphere constant. When it comes closer to the ground, you can increase the length of the ball to show the gravity. When it bounces back, it can come to its original shape. And then what we are going to do is change the path of the ball, so we will make changes in our base layer. So our ball will go something like this. Let's go to the most recent layer again and duplicate this. And when the ball bounces back, it regains its original shape. So you can 
change the path of the ball like this and keep on repeating the same add a little bit of shadow wherever the ball is touching the ground then just go to the background layer and add one more layer on top of it draw a line and fill it in now we will delete the path layer and set the most recent layer as our background and then just play the animation and play around with the speed of your animation and to export this animation you can go to settings then share and then you can export it as an animated gif you can set it as a transparent background or you can increase or decrease the speed of the animation while exporting it as well hope this video gave you an idea about how to get started with animation in procreate 